have you ever had a plan for yourself? We're a little scared if you could achieve it or not. So you can create a plan B as a safety net. Well, former NFL All-Pro and UC Davis Hall of Famer Bo Eason is saying in his new book that there's no plan B for your A game. Welcome to the show, Bo. Thanks, Aubrey. Good to be here. Well, it's awesome. You're back in SAC, you know, yeah. hometown boy, you know, grew up in this area. <laughs> Does it look the same? It's a little different. <laughs> it's a little different. It's been a while since I've been here. Mm -hmm. I live in L.A. now, right. right? So I'm used to traffic, but I couldn't believe how much traffic was in Sacramento this morning. Oh, man, yeah. There's uh, yeah. definitely traffic. Depending on what time you hit the road and what direction you're going, yeah. you're, you're probably going to run into some. All right, so you went from being a UC Davis Hall of Famer to an NFL All-Pro player for the Houston Oilers and then the 49ers. So tell us about your amazing journey. Yeah, I, would say, I mean, it's a crazy journey going for, you know, I grew up on the Delta, so a small town, so a farm community. My brother and I both got to play in the NFL. And then after that, just just went to, you know, went to Broadway, went to New York, wrote a play perform that and the and the journey just kind of keeps unfolding as we go. Wow, you know, talk about growing up in the Delta and playing on the big stage of the NFL and yeah. being in New York City. Now you have a book. Yep. Uh, tell us what inspired you to write this book and what is it all about? Yeah, well, the title is There's No Plan B for Your A Game. And that title really comes from my mom, who's watching us here this morning. <laughs> right? Yeah, she's <laughs> local. And uh, it really comes from her because my brother and I had these dreams when we were kids. And a lot of people said, hey, those dreams seem a little highfalutin, you might want to get the boys a plan B. And my mom would uh, escort them to the front door and, and close the door and put them on the porch. <laughs> and so uh, from that point, I knew how serious she took dreams. And so that's why there, there was no plan B for me and there's no plan B for people who really achieve because if you have a fallback plan, guess what? You're going to take that fallback plan. Right. I mean, it's a lot of people just keep pushing and pushing, and that's why they say don't let, don't ever let go of your dreams. That's you right. Hear a lot about that. Now, did you always have that type of mentality? You talk about what your mom instilled in you younger, but you know, I'm yeah. sure you went through ups and downs as you went through your career. Oh, of course. Yeah. It's so funny. On your way to achieving the greatness or your dream, almost every day of that 20 years or however long it takes, almost every day it looks like it's not going to happen. But eventually it does happen. So yeah, there's a lot. And like you said too, it's just like you have a lot of fear making a declaration like that. Mm -hmm. You know? Because look, you're putting yourself on the line and all your friends are going, no, no, you can't be an NFL player or you can't be a Broadway play, right? That's, we, we don't know any people like that. That's impossible to do. And then you just train and go toward it and eventually it ends up happening. Yeah, well talk about having the guts, I guess, to put yourself out there and have that vulnerability yeah. How do people, what's your advice to people like, to be able to do that? Yeah, it's a great question. That's the, that's the reason I wrote the book, too, is because, look, everyone's afraid to do that. And because you, you are, you're vulnerable. You're now, you're, you're hanging out over that cliff right. now that you've declared what you want to do. But that's the only place to live. That's the only place to be. So I say to all those people, for one, read the book because it breaks down all of those fears and, the, and it works you through how to get there. Um, but the first thing I would say is declare what you want. Like, what is your Put it dream? Out there. Put it out there. And then what will happen? Great people will then surround you and help you get there. I love it. You know, that reminds me of that quote, you know, you miss all the shots that you don't take. That's right. So you've created a four-step process. Can you tell me about that? Yeah. The, the, the first is we've already talked about is declaration. That's the first. You have to declare what you want, just like the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. 250 years ago, they declared, and you and I live out that freedom every day. Your declaration, our personal declarations are exactly like that. We just live them out. The second one is preparation, where you just really have to remember you know, who we are. Like, we're very, we can achieve. Like, us human beings are great at, at adapting to things, and we're great at greatness. We're great at improving. And number three is acceleration. That's where you really just pass everybody up who opts for their plan B. Okay. And the last step is domination, which I know that word, domination. that word kind of freaks people <laughs> out this day and age, right? But that's really about dominating your space and your head. Yeah. Like, dominating that yourself. Can be tough. Yeah, because I'm not talking about dominating other people. I'm talking about dominating your space. That's the four-step process. I love that. I love that. So you're in town because the UC Davis football team, they're honoring you. Talk yeah. about uh, some of the events going on for you. Yeah, well, today at 4 o'clock at the Avid Reader in Davis, which mm -hmm. is a bookstore, the Avid Reader, um, I'm going to be doing a book signing. Okay. So for those of the people who are, are, have the book, bring it over. I'll sign it. If you don't, they'll have books available there. I'll sign them for you. And then on Saturday during the UC Davis game, they're going to put me on the Aggie Pride wall. Oh, your face is going to be up there. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I guess I'm the second person to be up there. Kenny O'Brien 
Ryan was the first, who mm -hmm. was the quarterback for the Jets. Yeah. And uh, we were teammates, and so he'll be there tomorrow night That's too with cool. me, and uh, and they'll reveal this this. My number, I guess, on yeah, the wall. That's going to be you up on that yeah, wall. Yeah, that's right. So it's very, it's, it's very like cool and it's very humbling, and I get to see a lot of old friends and teammates. That's and nice. Well, it's awesome to have you back in the area, and that, that UC Davis is doing this for you. That's really exciting. Then you have this book where you're sharing your story. You're making yourself vulnerable by sharing your story, but I'm sure a lot of people can relate. If they want to get your book, maybe uh, can they go online? Where can they get more? They can go to any retailer. They can go to Barnes & Noble. They can go to Amazon. They can go to boeisandbook.com. If you go and you get it there, you actually get some bonus material and okay. some gifts. So it's pretty cool. All right, Bo. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Have a great weekend. Congratulations on your accolades that you're receiving this weekend and on the new book. Thanks, Aubrey. <laughs> This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.